All right, all right, y'all. This is using Nightworm 360, and the game is Raid Shadow Legends. And we are going to go into our Boosted Summoning Weekend. Um, I do have two uh, uh, yellow uh, shards and a couple of um, blue. So, we going to go on and see what we get. I made a little bit of room to make some extra space. So let's get this summoning started. We gonna go on with the main too. Ain't no no use in hurting my feelings. Let's go. A cult brawler. Okay. Sorceress raise on level one attacks one enemy has a fifty percent chance of placing a five percent poison debuff for two turns. Uh, curse eater level one attacks one enemy if this champion is under a one or more debuffs. This attack ignores thirty percent of enemy death. If the champion is under two or more debuff, enemy kills by this skill cannot be revived. If the champion is under three. Or more debuffs, this attack always critical. If champion is under four or more, this champion heals 30% of the damage inflicted. If this champion is under five debuffs, grants an extra turn, removes all debuffs, debuffs from this champion after the attack. <laughs> Block revive. Okay. Uh, Ruination Ritual places a 2.5 poison debuff on this champion for four turns at the start of each turn. Poison Ascended Skill 3 uh, places 2.5 Poison Debuff on this champion for 4 turns at the start of each turn. Has a 70% chance of placing a 5% Poison Debuff on a random enemy for 4 turns at the start of each turn. Alright now. <laughs> Interesting. My God. See. Kyra. Hmm. Let's see what she do. I feel like I didn't done her before. Maybe not. Uh, follow up volley level one attacks one enemy feels this champion turn meter by twenty five percent if this attack is critical. Uh, Aurora puncture level one attacks all enemies three times. Each hit has a forty percent chance of removing one random buff from target. Uh, enfeeble tips. Level 1. Attacks all enemy has a 60% chance of placing 15% weak and debuff 2 turns. Uh, damage or base attack. Weakened ascended skill 3. Attacks all enemy has a 60% chance of placing a 25% weak and debuff at 2 turns. Devoted sister. Revives this champion with 75% HP when killed. Only available when Ica Ika, yeah, okay, sisters, okay, yeah, that's kind of catch twenty two. I I hate when they had these setups or two monsters or two characters. That kind of kind of that kind of take me off a little bit because I know I'm not gonna have both of them on the team. So. Let's see. I got the Iron Cannon. I remember having this one so I can go on the skill. Paralyzing Touch Level 1 attacks one enemy. Has 20% chance of placing Sleep Debuff for one turn. Unnatural Recover places a 15% continuous heal buff on two allies for two turns. Vigor Level 1 uh, places a 25% increase attack buff on all allies for 3 turns. Uh, increase attack ascended skill 3 places a 25% increase attack buff and 10% increase critical rate of buff on all allies for 3 turns. And then Aurora ally death in arena battles 25%. Okay. All right. Okay, Slasher, he looks different. 
fearsome slice level one attacks one enemy a t uh, damage based attack chop apart level one attacks one enemy two times has a 25 percent chance of placing a 30 percent decreased death debuff for two turns uh, killing zeal places a 15 percent increased critical rate buff and shield buff on this champion for two turns the value of shield is proportionate to the champion's death and critical damage uh, increased critical rate shield ascended skill 3 places 15% critical rate buff and shield on this champion for 2 turns the value shield is proportionate to the champion's death and critical damage and grants a extra turn and aurora increases ally attack and fraction crypts by 17% Okay, pig sticker. Vile substance level one attacks one enemy has a 50% chance of placing a 50% heal reduction debuff for two turns. Heartless curse level one attacks one enemy decreases target match HP by 20% of damage inflicted. Septic spear hand attacks one enemy two times. A uh, damage based attack, ascended skill 3, attacks one enemy two times, decreases target, max HP by 30% of damage inflicted, and Aurora attack in Doom Towers. Okay, this is a Doom Tower character, battles by 24%. Alrighty. Stout X Man. Dwarf. Go no further. Level 1. Attacks one enemy. Repel the Horde. Level 1. Places a 15% reflect damage buff on this channel champion for two turns. Also has an 85% chance of placing a 15% reflect damage debuff on a random ally for two turns. Reflect damage. Ascended skill 3. Uh, places 15% reflect damage buff on this champion for two turns has a 85% chance of placing a 15% reflect damage buff on a random ally for two turns. Also has a 35% chance of provoke debuff on two random enemies for one turn. And then thrives on dangerous P level 1. Heals this champion 50% of damage taken while under reflect damage buff also has a 25% uh, chance of increasing duration of all attack or debuffs by one turn when hit is under reflect damage buff so that's a passive okay All right, Berserker. All out attack level one attacks one enemy. Fills this champion turn meter by 30% if attack is critical. Havoc level one attacks one enemy. Grants an extra turn if target is killed. And attacks all enemy two times. Damage based attack. Ascended skill three. Uh, attacks all enemies two times with no 20% of each target's defense. Alright. Okay, Executioner, Knight's Revenant. Okay. Shield Bash level 1. Attacks one enemy, has a 15% of pace and stun, debuff for one turn. Termlet level 1 attacks all enemies decrease turn meter by 20% has a 50% chance of placing a 15% decrease speed debuff for two turns a damage based on attack and death uh scrion scrion level 1 places a 30% Increase death buff and a counter attack buff on this champion for three turns. Counter attack increased death ascended skill three 
places 60% increased death buff on a counterattack buff on this champion for three turns. And a rule, ally death in all battles 17%. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, I got a purple. <gasps> oh, he looks nice. Flamey. Uh, Magnar, level one. Let's see. Superheated Hammer, level one. Attacks one enemy has 45% chance of placing a 60% decreased death debuff for two turns. Has a 100% chance instead of the target is under HP burn debuff. Mm -hmm. Persuasive Pound. Attacks all enemies, places an extra hit on enemies without HP burn debuffs have 50% chance of placing stun debuff for one turn on enemies under HP burn debuffs. Debuffs. Okay, damage based on HP. Fan the flames. Attacks one enemy applies debuff spread. Effects taking two random debuffs from the target and placing them on all enemies under HP burn debuffs. Also increasing duration of HP burn debuffs on unenemies by one turn will not spread. Fear, true fear, freeze, provoke, sleep, or stun debuffs. Damage based on HP. Okay. Uh, Flesh Melter Passive, level 1. This champion heals 1% of their max HP every time anyone in battle takes damage from 18 HP burn debuff. Doom Tower. Increases all allies' death in Doom Tower battles by 30%. Nice, nice. Okay, I have Riding Mage, so I can add that to skill. Guild Beam, level 1. Attacks one enemy, has a 25% chance of placing Freeze debuff on one turn. Foremost Armaments, level 1. Places an increased attack buff on all allies for two turns. Increased attack, Ascended skill 3. Places 25% increased attack buff on all allies for two turns. And places a 30% increased death buff on this champion for two turns. Mental Overload, level 1. Attacks one enemy has a 75% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. And ally speed in Fraction Crypts, 13%. Okay, Peanut to level <laughs> uh Sword of Faith level one attacks one enemy two times, has a thirty percent chance of placing a twenty-five percent decrease attack debuff for one turn based on attack. Counter level one attacks one enemy, places counter attack buff on this champion for one turn. And unshakable faith removes all debuffs from this champion, places block debuffs on this champion for three turns. Okay. Gore mask. Okay. Step level one attacks enemy two times. Go for the throat attacks one enemy. Damage increased 20% if this attack is critical. Uh, Tearing Jaws level 1 attacks one enemy with a Noah Shield and block damage buffs. This champion will receive damage equal to 10% of their max HP. This will happen even if this, keep, this kills the champion. Damage based on attack HP. Ascended skill 3 attacks one enemy with a Noah Shield block damage buffs based on damage based on attack. And Aurora, ally HP in arena battles by 25%. Okay. Ooh, who is this? 
big. Ooh. Oh, snap, bro. Okay, head split a level one. Attacks one enemy, all enemies one time if the first attack is critical. Four charge, level one. Attacks all enemies has a 30% chance of placing stun debuff for one turn. Also has a 50% chance of placing a 50% decrease uh, accuracy debuff for two turns. Damage based on the attack. Stun and decrease. Molten Slag, level 1. Attacks all enemies two times. Decreases the turn meter by 25%. Damage based on attack. Ascended skill 3. Attacks all enemies two times. Decreases the turn meter by 25%. Has a 30% chance of placing a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns damage based on attack. And then Aurora increases ally accuracy in dungeons by 90. Oh, yes. I like that. Okay, I didn't get. Yeah, I do have Guardian before. Uh, chop level one attacks one enemy has a 50% chance of decreasing duration of all enemy debuffs by two turns. Thundercrap level one attacks four times at random. Each hit has 30% chance of applying block buffs, debuff for two turns, damage based on attack HP. Uh, prayer level one places a block debuff, debuffs buff, and a counter attack buff on this champion for two turns. Also places a 15% continuous heal buff on this champion for two, two turns. Continuous heal block debuffs counter attack. And Aurora increases allies HP in dungeons by 7, 27%. Unlocked at ascension level three. Life Taker. Okay, this is from the Shadow King. All right. Bleeding Skirtum, level one. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has 30% chance of placing a 100% heal reduction debuff for two turns. Damage based on attack. Leg Bang, level one. Attacks one enemy three times. Each hit has a 50% chance of decreasing targets. Turn meter by 10. The third hit, 50% chance of placing decreased speed debuff for two turns. Damage based on attack. And unlock at Ascension level three. Diamond Body, level one. Places a Veil buff on this champion for one turn. And a 30% reflect damage buff on this champion for two turns. Veil reflect damage. Okay. Last one of the last one. Let's go. Hell Freak. Okay. It's a rare. Vile Blades level 1 attack. Two enemies each hit. Has a 20% chance of placing decreased debuff. A decreased death debuff for two turns damage based on attack. Mind games level one. One enemy has a 50% chance of stealing all buffs on target before attacking. Worst nightmare level one. Swatch HP with the enemy then grants an extra turn. Then increases ally speed in all battles by 10%. I like that ascension level three. And we are done. I'm just going to go on and punch that one last one. That one little last uh, rare uh, green. And that's a connect. <laughs> Tax one enemy has an extra 20% chance of inflicting a critical hit. Damage inflicted proportional to death. All right. And that's all the, uh, that's all the boosted. That's all my summonings right there. I know I could have had waited till, like, an actual event for summoning, but I don't even be waiting on those anymore because it's just 
by the time you do your sum and then somebody else got 30 or 40 <laughs> and knock you out of position. So, <laughs> all right. But yes, I am excited. I got that big oom. Mm, that one definitely will be working on. Definitely will be working on. Yeah, that's a that's a definitely a definite. We'll be working on. And let's go on and look at the those reviews. Um, four point nine. Only clan boss is about the only thing it don't really do. And then it's got uh, weapon attack, helmet, HP. Shield, defense, critical rate, critical rate percents, and chest plate, attack, and then critical speed. So, I know I'm going to have to uh, do some runs to get those runes for that. But I'm definitely going to go on and start working on Big Oon. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> All right. And that is my boosted summonings for Raid Shadow Legends. This is using Nightworm 360. And I will catch y'all later. But if there is anything in Raid Shadow Legends you'd like to see more, put in the comments below. And I will catch y'all later.